Hi, it's Lore here. I hope you are enjoying my YouTube content so far and if you are, please consider subscribing and sharing with anyone who might be interested in art or watercolors. In today's video I'm going to show you the new kit that Viviva just launched in collaboration with Inktober and they just sent me these goodies to try and use for this year's Inktober. And it comes with the official Inktober prompt list. How cool is that? Even though some years I decide to do the Inktober challenge, I never really managed to do the whole month. But I always think it's a nice way to motivate artists and to have a goal to achieve each day. Even though it can get a bit stressful if you don't plan it ahead, or if you're comparing yourself with other amazing artists out there. Remember that Inktober is meant to be a fun practicing skills exercise and that you should do it for yourself and not just to share on social media. But if you do share it, try to do it for the fun of it and not to compare yourself to others. Don't take it too seriously if you think you're going to have trouble painting something every day or even if the official prompt list looks very odd or random to you. There are many other prompt lists out there from any other artist that they share each year that might suit you better. For example, if you are into painting animals only, there are quite a few prompt lists that they're out there that they can help you. And you can even improvise and paint wherever you want each day. The point of Inktober is to practice drawing and painting each day, so don't stress too much about the list if you don't feel comfortable with it. Right, let's go back to the review of the Viviva Travel Paint Kit in collaboration with Inktober for this year. It consists of a travel paint kit in A5 size. It all comes wrapped inside this faux leather blue case that feels cushioned and resistant. It has a big pouch inside for you to be able to store the Viviva color sheets, a small palette with a cloth to clean your brush or any other supply you might need. Inside, you can find the official prompt list for Inktober 2022. The original handmade Viviva watercolor sheets with 16 different watercolors. A round water brush, a black Kuretake water-based pen size 05 and one of the nicest sketch pads I've had. It's an A5 size ring sketchbook made of hot press premium ivory paper of 240 GSM and 32 sheets or 64 pages if you are using both sides of each paper, which you can absolutely do. The texture of this paper is thick, but very soft to the touch. It has a very smooth texture that makes it perfect to use for Inktober and perfect for drawing with pens. Then it has a pocket for the water brush, another pocket that holds in place the sketch pad, and an elastic band attached to the right side, perfect for the Kuretake pen. It closes with a round magnet, so you can take it wherever you want to paint. It also fits in any backpack or in your purse so you can travel with it. That's why they call it a travel paint kit. <laughs> you can get this Inktober travel kit bundle for £65 or if you prefer you can find the Inktober basic bundle that comes only with the sketchbook, a pen, the brush and Viviva's original color sheets for £44 instead. And in both of them you can actually choose which color sheets you want from their collection. I will leave the links in the description of the video for you guys. Let's get back to my painting now. I have already started sketching some animals in this sketch pad, in preparation for Inktober. So far I've got seven different animals and today I chose to paint this penguin, just to try the paper and Viviva's watercolors for this video. I plan to post the painting each day on Instagram during October, but because I get stressed and I have not been very consistent over the years with Inktober, I am just taking it easy this year and I think sketching ahead of time and getting the drawings prepared and ready to paint will help me a lot. So feel free to do that as well if you want. If you get anxious during Inktober but you still want to take part, this will be your solution.
I love how Viviva partnered with Inktober to make this set. You have everything you need to get you started. And even if you are not doing Inktober, this set is just very handy to have as you can take it with you and paint wherever you want. And it comes with everything you really need to paint. When painting this penguin, I didn't use the water brush that comes with the set because personally I prefer the normal brushes and because I was in the comfort of my studio. But if I were to paint outside, I would definitely use the water brush because it is much more convenient. So it's nice that this set comes with one for when you are painting outside and you don't have easy access to a water cup. Regarding the watercolor pan, I personally love it. It comes in this thin and light cork pan with a paper lid that you can actually use as a small palette to mix your colors since it's waterproof. So it comes very handy when you are traveling or painting outside again and can't carry a palette to mix your colors. I thought I was going to hate the experience of mixing my colors in there, but it was actually pretty nice and useful. I didn't miss my palette for this painting at all. The watercolor pan comes with 16 different colors, but remember that you can mix your own very easily and I encourage you to do so. Painting with the given colors only is boring and you can actually learn a lot from mixing your own colors depending on what you need for your paintings. For example, I love to find the perfect shades of a white subject, like in this case for the body of the penguin. As you can see, I used light yellows and purples as undertones to build the shape of this penguin's body. Then for the black parts, I used a mix of blues, reds and browns to achieve the dark color. When you need to paint something black, try and do this instead of going for a straight black color. In this case, you have no other option but to mix your own black colors because this watercolor palette does not come with a pure black color. So it's a nice way to push yourself to mix your own colors. Regarding the paper, I really enjoyed painting on it. It feels very smooth but has a beautiful subtle texture to it that makes it look very nice. And it did not bend at all while painting with water, which is great! The size of this sketch pad is perfect for me because I'm used to painting on an A5 size. As you may know, almost all of the animals that appear in my posters have been painted, painted individually on an A5 piece of watercolor paper. It is also a very nice size to carry around, which makes it perfect for this travel kit.
I use the 05 Karataka pen for the outlines, but I find it to be a bit thick for my taste. So I added some other lines and details with my Unipen Fine Line number 02. I think that the thickness of the pen would depend on your style and maybe you don't even need it at all. The good part about this kit is that it comes with an interior pocket so you can actually store any other pens or supplies that you might need or want in there. To finish the painting I used my Sakura Gel Roll White Pen to add some tiny dots just because I like to add some finishing details to most of my paintings. I really enjoyed using Viviva's watercolors and sketchpad from this Inktober Travel Kit 2022. I would definitely recommend it if you are going to do Inktober or if you paint outside a lot. I really like the sketchpad, the paper is very very nice quality and I love how vibrant their colors are. And of course I love that it comes in a cork palette and that there is no plastic in the packaging. As you may know, Viviva Colors is a family-owned company that handcrafts all of their products with local artists and women in India, which I think is pretty cool to think about, that someone actually has made these watercolors with their own hands and sewed them into this cool color sheet booklet. They even have portraits of some of these women in their packaging that says I handcrafted this for you with a custom note, which I think it makes it look much more authentic in some way. What do you think about that? Do you like to buy from small businesses that add a personal touch to their products? Do let me know in the comments of this video and we can start a conversation there. I hope you enjoyed this video review of Viviva and Inktober Travel Kit. I will see you next week with another video. Thank you for watching. Bye.